Hi, I'm Derek and welcome to my channel. This video is on my two solar blankets. One is the King's 200 watt solar blanket, the other is a Ridge Rider 200 watt solar blanket. I've hooked them up into parallel. I don't use the regulators to get with them and I put them straight into my camper trailer through a SeaTech smart regulator works better than having your regulators in circuit. So please watch this video and um, give me a thumbs up if you like and please subscribe. So yeah, I am an electrician, okay? So I know what I'm doing. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I've just hooked up my 200 watt Ridge Rider solar blanket with, with no controller on it and my 200 watt uh, King's solar blanket with no controller on it. Put them through and back into here and through a dual Anderson plug set up, through a single, through a watt meter. And in my camper trailer I have another watt meter anyway. But it'll be easy to see it on that one. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on, the solar, and charge up the batteries. Okay. What I have is a SeaTech 250SA, a D250SA, 20 amp one. Now what I've done is I hooked the two solar blankets together. They get fitted through two watt meters and into the SeaTech. So I'll just put it on here and you can see what's happening with it. Got a bunch of settles down, it'll be right. Okay, the voltage is around 19 volts. Can go up to 21 volts. The current is around 12.6 amps going in. It is nearly one o'clock. It's a fairly sunny day. So you can see there what's happening with it. So you don't need regulators on your panels or blankets if you've got a CTEC controller, DC to DC controller. If you have them on and you put them in on the DC controller, you won't work as effectively, okay? So it's 12.3, 12.5, 12.6 around about amps going in. 16.78 volts. Probably because of the length of the cables and both of them. Thirteen point. 8, 13.8 amps are going in now, 13.8. I have three AGMs in this camper trailer, they're 100 amps each, 
they do take a bit of charging up um, they should be fairly fully charged I used it a couple of months ago before I broke my back um, and I've only used the uh, pressure pump a few times on it but I like to charge them up every um, month 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 and a half don't like to get out too long more than two months so that's the one internally here which will be the same one as the one outside that's the setup I have here you can see that I have um, solar input alternator input and the battery everything's protected through 30 amp circuit breakers a little sub board that comes here and feeds the fridge I got a fridge what meter for the fridge um, it all tells me how much the fridge is drawing because that's the main thing I'll be using power the rest of it only LED lighting and I've got gas so I am an electrician not auto electrician but I am a full household electrician and I work on appliances like fridges washing machines as well so I know a fair bit about um, the misters and and connections and circuits I know how to read circuits so yeah it will alter so there is clouds coming over occasionally 11.5 amps going in there now 17 volts so I'll just go to the one on the outside and see if it corresponds Yeah, 11.2, 17.7 volts. Even tells you the what hours you have. But 11.11 .11 amps at the moment is going in. 17.25 volts are being fed in from the two solar blankets. And they're the two solar blankets up there. Now when I'm set up, I will have these on the ground, or on the car. Um, but that's my idea to have 400 watts of solar blankets going in. Which will quickly charge the batteries up. Now this is the best way to do it, is to don't use the regulators you get. The MPPT controllers and the, um, and the PWM controllers that you get with them. If you've got a CTEC charger, you need a CTEC charger to run it. Um, without a CT charger you do need those other controllers but this way you don't you can um, put more power in it and it will charge your batteries quicker and faster and safely and that's the setup I have so I'm going to leave them on there for a couple of hours until the sun goes down and um, and try and charge it fully up So yeah, go back into here. Uh, 10.3 amps. As I say, the battery shouldn't have been down very much. All I did was um, had the pressure pump up on when I did the uh, Jilka hot waters hot water video and that was not very long and um, I used it a couple of months ago when I went down to Mackay so it should be fairly fully charged but I do like to condition them every couple of months they are getting on a bit they're five years old now but there are three AGMs in there and I'll probably stick to AGMs because of the cost I'll just leave it on there for a little while so you can see What's happening with it? Okay, I said you need the CTEC charger there. You can see the lights on it, and it'll tell you how it's hooked up. 
um, and the, uh, the, one of the best things you can get is a DC to DC charger. That's the one control panel I got in this camper trailer. I'll just go over to the, the other one, the original one that came with the camper trailer. This is it here. 13.9 volts it's putting in. And that's all it'll tell me. How much volts are going into the batteries, 13.9 volts. And this is the uh, Market Direct NBC camper trailer. 2015 I'm just going to leave that on for a while it'll be sunny for a couple of hours then the trees will put, could be put shade on it so yeah I have a 250 watt fixed panel uh, not a fixed panel but a uh, uh, aluminium and glass panel just too heavy so I stick to these two now because it's only 400 amps of current of watts 400 watts I should say 200 each is 400 you never get a um, maximum efficiency of course you got to realize that <laughs> heat voltage drop in the cables there's so many different factors that come into it so um, but you do expect to have um, 200 watts of power, which is P equals IE. Power equals current uh, times volts. Current P equals IE, IE. Yeah, times volts. So the voltage most panels put out is about 21 volts, not 12 or 13 as most people expect. So that's what you're going to work on when you're working out that to get the current. So to work it out, you divide one side by the volts, which is 21. So you divide the 200 into 21, which is probably nine, I suppose, without, without getting a calculator out. So yeah, as I said, I'm an electrician. I do formulas all the time. So um, with, with, with heat, and uh, the skinnier cables you would get some voltage loss in them but that's to be expected so i do expect at least seven or eight um, amps out of each panel in the middle of the day which would then drop off towards the morning and night but having two would put um, enough voltage into the panels into the into the batteries um, quickly if you're camped up that way I can go on forever without having to charge but I've got an alternator I can use and use a 240 volt charger as well if I need to or I've got the car it's hooked up to the car through through this one here it's, it's hooked up to the car I've got a 130 amp hour alternator in the, in the um, four wheel drive Hi, thank you for watching this video um, if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe um, this is how I do my solar blankets I'm an electrician I know it's, it's how it can be done um, and you should not be using the um, regulators to get them with, with, with your solar panels if you have a CTEC smart charger so this works for me and it works well so cheers and thank you for watching